Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about harmonics and fundamentals. I think we all know what the definition of both of those terms is. So what we have to realize, inside every fundamental is a harmonic that's waiting to be born. And for me, the harmonic is everything. I mean, I love a good, strong attack, but the decay is where the emotion is. That's where the music is. That's where the first, second order harmonics are. And this is all, you know, under a, under 100 cycles. That's what we have to really focus on. If we can get the 100 cycle stuff focused under 100 cycles, then we're in pretty good shape. Must have the proper rates and levels of low frequency treatment to produce the proper attack and decay rates. I go into studios all the time. I talk to people all the time with our room forms and the appointments that people call in. And there seems to be a general consensus out there that Bass, low frequency energy is supposed to sound like mud and soup. It's just the way it is. That's nonsense. You can get the same resolution with your mids and highs as you can with your low ends. I do it every day in the studio here. It can be done. We have the technology. What you're really saying is either you're not willing to make the commitment to treat the room properly, you don't have budget, you don't have space, but we do have technology today that can make that low end really shine for you. And it's so important. Once you get the low end dialed in, you listen at lower pressure levels. You hear more. That's why you turn up. You want to hear more. Well, turning up increases room distortion. So you want to hear, you want to hear turn down and hear more. That's the ratio. When we do our drum platforms and drum rooms for, for drummers, they always tell me, I play quieter because I hear more. So then the flip side of that is you were playing louder to hear more. Well, that's not going to work because it's the pressure that's causing the problem and that's the reason you can't hear more. So we got to have a balance between room size, volume, and treatment. The treatment must hold the fundamental. When that 30 or 40 cycle note is struck, played, I, would, I was going to say sung, but nobody goes down that low that I know of. So you got to be able to grab, the room has got to grab that fundamental. Hold it long enough that the harmonic can be heard. Get out of the way of the harmonic. Okay, you did your job, you created it. You, you gave birth to the harmonic. Now get, get out of the way and be gone. But a lot of these low frequency fundamentals, they stay around in the room and party with their friends, so to speak. And you can't have that. They got to make an appearance and then they got to leave so that the harmonic tail can come through, okay? So it's got to be able to live and die on its own volition. Now, how do we do that? We select the right distances, the right room ratios, but also we, we have the right rate level of absorption. We use the right frequency response for diffusion. There's a whole host of other things. We keep our distances symmetrical. There's a lot of issues involved, okay? Let me give you an example of the 30 cycle issue in our home theater studio here. When that 30 cycle, I think it's an organ pedal in a lot of the songs we hear, you hear it, but more importantly, you feel the wave, the harmonic of the wave wash through the room. And you can hear it, you can feel it. It's right there. You can almost watch it. It's that resolute in our studio. Now it takes a lot to do that. It takes proper room size, volume, lots of treatment. I get it. But you can begin the process and there's little things that you can do. The wall, the front wall, in any listening environment where the speakers are, start with this wall here. Treat this wall first. Treat the whole wall, not just the corners. That's nonsense. It's the whole wall causing the problem. You know, the companies that sell products that go in the corners of the room, it's a Band-Aid. It's by definition an axial, tangential, and oblique mode is caused by two, four, and six parallel surfaces. Not two, four, six parallel corners. Even if you buy into that corner nonsense, what percentage of the total wall is the corner? What, five, maybe 10% surface area? So you're going to fix 5 or 10% of a 100% problem? You're still going to have it. It's not going to go away. So that's all craziness. So 
you got to be able to treat it. So don't take my word for it. Treat this front wall behind your speakers, whether it's a theater, two-channel listening, mixed room, doesn't matter. Treat this front wall. It's the area of highest pressure in the room. Why is that? Because it's one of the closest boundary surfaces to two really large generating energy sources, speakers. Treat that. You'll hear a huge, huge, huge difference. And you'll want more because you're hearing more. And you're hearing more because you're treating more. And that's the goal. We want to hear more, right? So get those harmonics right. There's a fundamental waiting to be heard and felt and connected to inside each one of our fundamentals. Get the room out of the way so you can hear everything. I really hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.